video, we're going to look at the proof for SN for an arithmetic series to be n over 2 brackets 2a plus n minus 1d. So in your spare time, you may have tried to add 1 to 100 really, really quickly. Okay? You may have tried to do that in your spare time. Uh, let's first of all call, well, if we're trying to add up, if we add up 1 to 100, let's call that to be equal s. Okay, let s be the sum of that. Now, if you write that backwards, you would get 100 plus 99 plus 98, plus da -da 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 -da, plus 2, plus 1. Now, if you notice, if I was to add these two lines to each other, you'd get s well, plus s, where you get this the total twice, so it would be 2s, s plus s is 2s, plus, and 1 plus 100 is 101, 2 plus 99 is 101, and so on, and it would become 101 plus 101 all the way right up to the end. That's 101. And notice it was 100 numbers, so you would have 100, 101s, okay, because you would have 1 to 100 and 100 down to 1, so there's 100 numbers there. So that means you've got 100, 100, 100, 101s. So another way of writing this then would be to write that 2s would be equal to 100 lots of 101, okay? And obviously, to get then the answer, what would you do is you'd divide it by 2, okay? So you then get s to be equal to a half of. 100 times 101, and that's a quick way of, to work of working that out. Now let's look at it algebraically. Okay, so to pro uh, start our proof of Sn equals n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1d, we're going to start off by writing down an arithmetic series. So we start off with Sn equals, well the first term is going to be a, the second term, remember if you each time you add on a common difference, so it's going to be a plus d, the next term is going to be a plus 2d, and so on, plus, all the way up to, um, I'm going to leave a gap for the second last one, I'll do the last one first, so the last one, well, I would adding up the first n terms, so the nth term, you may recognise this as un, which is a plus n minus 1 d, and then the second last term, well, if we go one before that, we're going to add on one less d, so it's going to be a plus n minus 2, lots of d, okay? So, Okay, so what we're now going to do is like uh, the proof that Gauss done for adding up 1 to 100, uh, we're going to reverse this series. So, so we're going to reverse it to get the last term, which would be a plus n minus 1d plus a plus n minus 2d all the way up to the second, or well, this term, which would be a plus d, and then up to the last term, which would be a. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the two series together, so sn plus sn would be 2sn. a plus a plus n minus 1d would be 2a plus n minus 1d. The next term, well, a plus a is 2a. And again, n minus 2 lots of d plus another d would be one more lot of d, so it would be plus n minus 1d, plus all the way up to the last term, which would be 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay? So you notice that all these terms are the same, like in that last one where we got 101, 101, so on. So with the, every term is 2a plus n minus 1d. Now we're added up from the at the beginning. We had n numbers in our sequence, so our series. So there's going to be n lots of this 2a plus n minus 1d. So instead of writing it out um, as adding itself n times, we could just times it all one of the terms by n. So n bracket 2a plus n minus 1d. Then we divide by 2, so we get Sn equals n over 2, bracket 2a, plus n minus 1d. And that's the proof of the sum of Sn.